Hello, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Short and Sweet. My name is Jose Moreno. I'm a NetSuite consultant with Concentris. And today what I wanted to show you was a quick use case for supply allocation. So supply allocation is one of the NetSuite features that can help you allocate and commit uh, existing on-hand inventory. But in addition, it can also help you allocate future supply so that can be purchase orders or inbound shipments that you haven't received yet in the system, but you want to be able to tie that supply to your existing sales orders. So what I'll walk you th through today will be a scenario where we'll be allocating future supply to an open sales order in NetSuite. And this can be very helpful if, for example, you have a customer who places an order with you and they don't want it to ship out, let's say, you know, till three or four months in the future, right? In those types of cases, you'll capture the sales order, but you'll still want the inventory you have on hand to be available for other customers who want their inventory to ship sooner, right? With supply allocation, you can actually meet that scenario and allow you to have that sales order in the system, but not necessarily tying up any on-hand inventory. So what you'll notice here is I have a sales order in this demo environment, right? If I scroll down here, the sales order only has one item and you can see it has an allocation strategy assigned to it. It also has a supply required by date. And you can see here, if you scroll to the right, this particular customer is ordering a hundred. Now, in this case, it's shipping today, right? You'll notice that if I click the allocated supply, the supply allocation engine will allocate and commit on-hand inventory for this customer. So in this case, you can see it's actually allocating the inventory from Boston. You'll notice that I also have a few purchase orders. So I'll show you a few of the purchase orders I've created. I've created three and you'll notice that the first purchase order is going to be received by the 29th of February. The second purchase order will be received on the 7th of April. And the final purchase order will be received on the 14th. Now, in the event that this customer called in and asked us to ship it uh, late in April, we would be able to come here to this sales order and update the supply required by date to reflect that future ship date requested by the customer. And as soon as this page loads here, so if I'll scroll down, I'll set the supply required by date to the 20th of April. Let's save it. So once I save this, you'll see that the supply allocation engine will be smart enough to know that it doesn't have to tie up existing inventory. In fact, it can actually reallocate this supply from a future supply. So you'll see here, I've updated the supply required by date to the 20th of April, and you'll notice that the expected ship date's been updated as well. Notice on the right side that the inventory I had committed is no longer committed to this sales order. And in fact, now the inventory is considered back ordered, even though I still have 100 units on hand and they are in fact available. If I click on the allocated supply here, you'll see that the allocation engine has reallocated the inventory. So what's happened is it's the allocated, the on hand supply it initially had committed to the to the sales order and it's allocated instead the futures purchase order that is yet to be received. And you can see here it's allocating from this purchase order 1552, which would be this one. So if I click refresh here, you can see the purchase order itself is 
now linked to that sales order. And so you can actually see that there's a relationship between that sales order demand and that supply. Keep in mind, this is just one of the possible configuration options you can set in the supply allocation engine. You may not want to actually allocate any future supply, but in the, in the event that you do, and that in the event that you want to be able to keep track of that information in the system, NetSuite can be configured to help you meet those business needs. So you ho uh, we hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Any questions, feel free to drop them in the chat and we'll do our best to answer. Uh, but in any case, thank you for watching the video and have a good one.